Okay, guys, so we're here with Miss Nadia. Hi, she has yeah. such exciting stuff coming. I can't talk about it. We're not there yet, but more, yes. Hoping yes. for the best. Yes. Whatever happens, happens, but good things to come, just like my freaking <laughs> amazing friend Amanda. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. So, so good. I'm so excited to have you here talking. Happy to be here. As I explained a little bit, the book, How to Choose Them, When to Lose Them, we're going to give you a chapter from the How to Choose Them portion okay. and a chapter from the When to Lose Them. All right. Great things to say, and so we're just gonna get your perspective on everything, okay. kind of what you've learned in your journey of with dating? your beautiful man. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> dating, oh dating, business, relationship, friendships, just yes. like kind of no, like no, no, no. who I you surround you. yourself with. Yes, yes, yes. So your how to choose them chapter, I have chosen the beginning list. Okay. So it's kind of like let's talk about your perspective on how important the beginning is when you find somebody and like when you're looking for them and like or not even looking when it comes to you what you should kind of evaluate in the beginning and, and how fragile that part of a relationship is. Well it's so important because yeah. that's when all like you're looking for the red flags mm -hmm. trying to figure out what's going on like right. for me personally I have been single for like five years I finally found my person thank yes! goodness but like oh my god I'm like old now um, anyways going through the dating process like I think something scary in LA especially right. is like you're so tainted by mm -hmm. everything around you you're on dating apps for influencers rather than like right, right. meeting someone nice on the street and I right. did it for so long and I think one of the main things that I, I look for in people is real, genuine, authentic mm -hmm. humans. Like, totally. and that is so hard to find so in LA. Whether it's friendships, families, boyfriends, girlfriends, right. it's like an impossibility mm -hmm. unless they're like not from right, there. Right. Like, so there are some good people, I will say. But so, anyways, like for me, when I met Sam, I think something that was super important was he asked me about myself it wasn't like here's my resume of what I've done trying to one-up me it was mm -hmm. like how are you and he works in the mental health space so oh I think my God, one thing amazing. that was beautiful yeah. was like the communication so he um, owns a suicide prevention charity oh my god that is so awesome yeah so I think one thing he really speaks about is mental health that ain't with to speak so when right. I started talking to this guy he wore his heart on his sleeve mm -hmm. and for someone to wear their heart on his sleeve that is the biggest turn on for me because so do I. I literally yeah. pour my heart out to anyone you I meet. Do. I do. I love oh Nadia. my gosh. Nadia is so sweet. <laughs> oh my god. But it was just that one thing where I go, wow, I'm not gonna be judged. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna feel not good enough. Like this right. guy just wanted to get to know me and all of me. The mm -hmm. good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. Right. And a lot of times in relationships we can try to put up a facade in the beginning mm -hmm. in that beginning period because we're trying to impress someone mm -hmm. or like we don't want to show our true selves but my advice in the beginning is be honest be honest it yes. saves you so much trouble in the future yes. as far as like not having to be like oh my gosh I can't tell him the truth or he's gonna find this out about exactly. me like people are gonna like you for you right. you're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but you will be someone's yeah thank god I found my cup exactly of tea. <laughs> there you go yeah and just really listening and getting to know people yeah like not only seeing what you want to see mm -hmm. and actually seeing the entire yeah. Of the situation. For sure. So yeah. So okay. Now we'll move on. So your when to lose them, which this is like I was going through the chapters, kind of breaking them up per person. Yeah. And when I saw this, I was like, this is Nadia. Like I have <laughs> to let her dive into this one because you always have such empowering things to say. Oh, and you. yes, I know you've had such a journey, and it's so beautiful. And um, so with that being said, self love and self respect. Yes and how important it is just in your life and in everything you do how it's yes. really the root of everything yeah so tell us a little bit about your perspective yeah <laughs> i mean th that is so important i can't explain that enough so i grew up in a faith-built family my dad's a pastor um and he showed love to me so much at a young age mm -hmm. and to love on people and um I think that a lot of times there's a lot of hate these days. I mean, yeah, it is so bad. awful. Yeah. And my bio on Instagram and like my life motto is give love, breathe love, be love. That yes. is so important. Love is the root of all. Yes. It'll end all nasty things in this right. world that we're going through if we just loved up on people. And mm -hmm. I, I think there comes a point in relationships and friendships to where you have to put yourself first mm -hmm. a lot. Um, and self-love is so important for me personally I struggled with anorexia and it took over my life and I didn't know how to love myself and 
I tried to find love in the wrong places. Mm. I would seek boys' attention yes. rather than building up Nadia. Right. I would fill voids of emptiness with people who treated me badly, whether it was toxic friendships, relationships. I just like let all this bad into my life, trying to yeah. not be alone, not trying to be alone with what's going on with me, what I had to deal with. And the minute I took time to just go, okay, self-love, it's so cliche, right? Love mm -hmm. yourself. No, no, yeah. no, it's not freaking Justin Bieber's song. Exactly. It is, yes, it is a real thing. Yeah. It's a real thing because it's like you're in a relationship with you. Like how you'd want to be with your loved one and mm -hmm. something you want to pursue. You need to be that way with yourself and asking yourself, what right. it, what can I do better in this relationship with me? me. What, How can I grow? Um, what's going to be good for me? What are the best surroundings? What do I need to cut out of my life? And I mean, it's obvious what you need to cut out of your life. If one person while I'm speaking this came to your mind yeah. while I said it, like, oh, I have that one right. friend that just like, is they my Debbie Downer? Go. Like, yes. Let them go. It's a new and year. It is a new, get it, get it new right. resolution. Make changes. But, exactly. But it doesn't mean you're not showing them love. You love up on people. I have had so many like friendships, like, with breakups yeah. and I know that sounds so weird but like I've ended it on no I'm like I love you mm -hmm. I wish you the best but I can't do, do this, this anymore. anymore like I just don't think we are the right people for each other because yeah. ugh, it takes such a toll on your life totally. your energy exerted on people that aren't very nice to yeah. you like I'm the type of person who's also a people pleaser so I try to yeah. win people over that are like such a-holes yeah, to me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like what am I even yeah. doing but the minute you put self-love and respect for yourself first, your friend circle's probably gonna have three people. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your boyfriend that better be treating you right, right whatever. Exactly. And your family, family mm -hmm. is so important, I think right. for, you know, some people do have crappy relationships with their families, yeah. and, but you can find that in friends that become your family yeah. and like people in your life, they're always gonna be people who love up on you. Mm -hmm. So love, 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 self-love, self-respect, give love, free love. Yes. <laughs> and if you have, for anybody watching, if you had like one piece of advice you could give them kind of going into this new year about, say they're in a sticky situation and they're like, but I do love myself, but maybe I don't, but like in this whole thing that you know we go through and oh. it's hard, what would your one like baby step, you know, because it's a process, yeah. you have to put one foot in front of the other, so to give a little jump start or something, what would you tell them? Oh, you know, my, <laughs> someone very important to me told me that think about your child in that situation. Yes. So you Somebody are, told me this too. <laughs> and I literally can't, can't remember right. who it was. Yeah. Like, if I can remember the name, I remember someone saying that, imagine if your child were in that situation. Mm -hmm. So those feelings where you're like, what should I do? Like, is this toxic for me? Picture yourself outside of your body being a parent to you and loving up on the one person that matters, their child. Mm -hmm. What would you want them to do? Right. How would this shape and mold like your future? And mm -hmm. I think we all need to live our lives like WWJD, right, 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 right. <laughs> whatever you want to yeah. call it, but like really put yourself first above what you think your heart knows and what this person may have, whether it's the money, whether it's the power, whether it's this or that, get yourself out of it if they're not giving you every bit of love right. and respect the way you'd want your daughter to be spoken yes. to like that's what you need to look at for yourself because I mean we'll be able to relate to our kids one day like yeah. stories and be like ah oh, crap like I went through the same thing right. which is awesome but hopefully it's not like I'm in the same thing I went through, through it, it. Yes. leave it behind move forward and don't rush relationships yeah, like it, the right time comes like I said I was single for five years and I always was like what's wrong with me what do I do I have to put myself out there I have to yeah. do all this the minute I stop looking, the cliche you always hear, which is the actual truth, the minute you stop looking yes. and you are right within yourself. Sam came right on through. Sam yeah. came through and God just throws something yes. at you where you go, wow, that's real, that's awesome. And like, this is what it's supposed to this be. This is what it's supposed to be. I and this is how people around you should care about you. Absolutely. Yeah. I literally it changes the standard and your expectation for everything around you. Oh my gosh, completely. Yes. Sam has not only helped me show me what like love is in a relationship, mm -hmm. but with friendships, right, with family. Right. The, find a man or find a woman who makes you better. 
better. That, yes, like, you don't you have, have to one to. up them. You don't exactly. have to be the strong one in the relationship. Find someone who brings out the best in you. You mm -hmm. bring out the best in them. Exactly. And it's just supposed to be a breeze. It's not yes. gonna always be perfect, but it's gonna be a lot easier. Than yeah, it's it not is. supposed to be hard. Yeah. Yes. So I know you guys love Nadia. <laughs> not like I do. <laughs> But go ahead and tell everybody where they should follow you to stay tuned. You guys, she really, no, like, she really has some exciting stuff coming. Yes. And I'm so happy for you. Thank I you. wish I could attach the video of us from, like, however many, six years ago. She was like, my in Chino first Hill. model friend. I don't think anyone understands. Like, I wasn't even supposed to be a model. I want to be, like, a cook. Right, then, like, right. Me either. Yeah, so like, we just, like, joined up, like, with that. Our on fleek. On fleek. Literally, we just like kind of had this on twice, and we're like, yeah. on fleek. oh my gosh! And then Amanda, I mean, I, history is there. So yes. you can follow me, Nadia Mejia, Nadia underscore Mejia on Instagram, N A D I A underscore M E J I A. And she I, literally has the voice of an angel. So go yeah. look out for that too.